Hey folks, Chris here. Today I'm just going to take you through a quick update on all of my fry that I have in the fish room at the moment, including these guys here, which are just albino quarries. And uh, I've got videos on the first two weeks of life if you want to check those out. Those are in the playlist that I'll leave at the end of the video here. And uh, they're getting to be little catfish now, looking a whole lot like the parents. And they're little eating and pooping machines getting about a 10 to 20 percent water change every other day and i'm feeding them crushed bug bites and crushed flake food right now as well as some tube effects worms from time to time and got some really good video of this guy right here he actually poops right here in just a second there are some precious little guys i love watching them catch myself just staring at them for hours on end sometimes but anyway yeah they are like you think quarries would be they're just cruise around the bottom scavenging around for food all day long all night long uh, we did have a small little die off so there's only probably three dozen or so left out of the hundred or two hundred that originally hatched I'm not 100% sure what caused it, but um, I'm thinking just because of all the leftover stuff on the bottom, need to put some snails in here. Try that out with the next batch of fry that I get from these albinos. As, uh, as you'll see here in just a minute, there are snails in the tank with all the green quarry fry too, and so far those haven't had any type of die off and not leaving a whole lot on the bottom. Yeah, as you can see there's a few dozen left still and like I was saying there's a lot of a lot of leftover stuff on the bottom there that I think is causing a little bit of a problem. But yeah, I got some uh, algae there on the bulbitis as you can see, but not too worried about it. I got new growth coming out of, out of the bottom of it all the time. And uh that algae out helps keep the water cleaner actually. So, but yeah, here's the green quarry fry. There are hundreds of these in this tank and as you can see I have snails in here to keep keep the bottom a little more picked up and clean. And yeah, I've not experienced the same type of die off that was in the last one. Um, parents here laid eggs on the Amazon sword that was up top, laid hundreds and hundreds of eggs. And it's like almost a little moving sand bed there on the bottom. We also had some surprise fry in the fish room not long ago, uh, probably three or four days ago. Caught my red terrors here laying eggs. Got some decent little video of that. She's pretty small at the moment, still only like three or four inches. Uh, the male's a good seven, eight inches. I actually separated out another pair that formed for me. And hopefully I'll be getting fried from them. I'll keep y'all updated on that as well. See, you can see the eggs right there below her. She only had a small batch, probably three or four dozen probably. But uh, here was today, after they hatched, sometime early in the morning they hatched and this is some uh, footage I caught in the late afternoon of them. Yeah, as you can see, she's still pretty small herself, but they're fighting each other on where they want to keep the eggs, and she keeps moving them out there, and he keeps moving them back under the rock. It's pretty hilarious to sit there and watch them. But yeah, if y'all want to see the updates on these fry and the other fry that we get as we go along here in the fish room, uh, just make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and a like and share wouldn't hurt at all and hope y'all enjoyed the video and y'all have a good one